morning. This is Dr. Rutledge, and I'm here to talk to you again about the American Heart Association's recent publication of their updated guidelines for um, your diet in attempts to protect you from heart disease, as well as other serious medical illnesses. And uh, I'm going to go through that, summarize the 10 recommendations that they had for you, and uh, discuss them in a little more detail, and then give you my translation into a kind of a simpler uh, 10 topics. So we're gonna go ahead and share the screen here. And we'll go ahead and get started. So the topic then is uh, what to eat and what not to eat. And this is related to both having a mini gastric bypass diet, but also if you don't have an MGB. And it's related to the recent important publication, I think, of the new American Heart Association diet guidelines. And I'm gonna give my own kind of slightly simplified version of the uh, guidelines that they used. So <clears throat> if you have any questions, you're welcome to email me. My email is short and simple, drr at clos.net, okay? Before I get, begin, I'd like to thank everyone, especially to my thousands of patients and to my brothers and surgical colleagues. So to all of you, my friends and uh, really my family, I say thanks. Now I have to say this because, uh, you know, there are a lot of characters on the internet and uh, now I'm a character on the internet. So the content here is purely uh, 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 for informational purposes and you need to talk to your doctor about making any health decisions in your life. So warning. <laughs> And uh, this is one of my favorite um, is come with me if you want to live. So if I was Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'd go, come with me if you, oh, never mind. <clears throat> okay, in short summary, this is what we're gonna talk about. It only take about five or 10 minutes. And I went through it a little fast the other day, but I've really tried to simplify it. But basically when we look at the details of the advice from the American Heart Association, we can kind of summarize it here and uh, in short, it says basically eat less calories. Now they use a lot of words to say the same thing, but eat less, we're eating too much. Eat fresh fruits and veggies, almost always and almost nothing else. I mean, it's really that simple. Eat lots of whole unprocessed grains, okay? And for, for most of us, that's gonna be eat steel cut oatmeal. Almost never eat meat, dairy, and eggs. You don't have to become a vegan or a vegetarian or anything like that, but these guys are killing us. That's in short. And protein should come from plants and never, never, ever from processed meat. It's hot dogs and um, lunch meat, stuff like that. No fried anything ever. All high temperature cooking uh, has a risk of developing advanced glycation end products and other reasons. They make you fat, sick, and dead. So no fried foods ever. No processed foods. Anything that's like in a plastic bag, plastic container, uh, fast food place, you know, like you can put a egg McMuffin on the shelf and for weeks and months, it, nothing will happen because it's filled with chemicals that prevent it from spoiling, which is good unless you want to eat it and live with it. So no processed foods. Frost, food processing essentially is not exactly, but in short, the rule of thumb here is processed foods poison. So that means no donuts. <laughs> what to drink? Oh, it's so hard. No water or green tea, no sodas, no artificial sweeteners, no tricks. That's all there is to it. No salt, no added salt. Salt causes high blood pressure, the number one killer in the United States and uh, pretty much around the world now in the 21st century, no salt, no alcohol, and these rules apply everywhere in inside and outside of the house. You can't go to the restaurant and suddenly think that you're allowed to eat in a different way. So if you think about it, it's pretty darn simple. And I'm gonna go through this in a little more detail, but in short, eat fewer calories. You're eating too darn much. So when you're hungry, don't tell yourself, oh, I'll get something to eat. Say, oh, good. That means I'm not eating at the present time. Eat fresh fruits and veggies, almost always, almost nothing else. It's that simple. Eat whole unprocessed grains, basically magic oatmeal. Steel cut oats in the morning is a good start. No, don't put sugar in it. No, don't put honey in it. Don't put agave. Steel cut oats, water, 
and maybe some fruit, period. Almost never eat meat, dairy, or eggs. It doesn't mean never, but if you do it once a month, that's fine. Protein from plants, never, never, ever from processed meat. And don't worry about getting protein from plants. If you eat fresh fruits and vegetables and whole processed grains, you'll have plenty of protein from plants. So relax. Never fry anything. Never eat anything. And in fact, don't do any high temperature cooking like broiling or anything. Boiling is about the maximum temperature you want to use. Long story, but basically you're killing yourself if you're barbecuing or heating at high temperatures. No processed foods. Food processing is poisonous. Food processing is poisonous. Food processing keeps things on the shelves in the grocery store for weeks or months or longer. Why? Because it's poisonous. Nothing can eat that. No bacteria can grow in there. Drink water or green tea, no sodas or artificial sweeteners, no salt, no alcohol, and these rules apply everywhere in and out of the house. It couldn't be simpler. Now, let's see what the American Heart Association says. Now, we have a lot of other topics coming on this uh, site, so I hope you'll stay in for uh, future videos, but obesity and addiction, this is a hot new topic. Salt, sugar, and fat, and how deadly addicting they are. The MGB diet, nothing special, just stop being stupid. Supplements and how they're very good, but not very good. Follow a blood test, MGB years later, marginal ulcer, gastritis, or reflux. Call me about any of these problems. Fainting or feeling weak and dizzy and salt, deficiencies, excessive weight loss, thiamine, B1 vitamin, bile reflux, gastritis, or ulcers, estrogen and depression, osteoporosis, uh, anemia and the leaky bucket and uh, other questions. So for all these topics, you're welcome to contact me anytime. I'm happy to discuss it. And again, I commit myself to the well-being of my patients, their families, and the countries that they live in. I'm at your service. Please ask me anything. I'll do my best to serve you both now and in the future. And again, my email address is short and simple, drr at clos.net. Finally, I don't think I'm that smart. I'm not a great teacher or physician or surgeon. I'm old and uh, I've had a lot of experience, more than 40 years. I'm taking care of thousands and thousands of patients and I've taught everywhere around the world and every continent except Antarctica. So again, doctors, surgeons, and patients, you're invited to contact me anytime. I enjoy talking about um, diet, exercise, and the MGB in case you hadn't guessed. I created the MGB in September of 1999, and the MGB background is pretty simple. It's nothing to it. It's taken a long time for American surgeons and French surgeons to figure out the MGB, but more and more people around the world are doing it. And so I'm here to kind of try and clear up some misunderstanding and confusion about diet, health, and the MGB, but not just for the MGB. I think it'll be useful for <clears throat> sleeve patients and non-obese patients, um, and it's the American Heart Association. I think that we tend to agree on most everything. So diet advice today, like the MGB can be tragic or deadly wrong. So my opinion, for example, the keto diet is ridiculous. And um, so I'm gonna try and say my opinion. And of course you need to talk to your doctor, but I think the MGB done wrong can lead to serious health complications, even death. And so if you eat healthy, you'll feel better. Um, there's good research on improving your chances of getting rid of your depression, being able to sleep better and things like that. So I hope this will help you. And again, this is a relatively brief summary. So don't hesitate to call me if you want an individual online consultation. Okay, so the objectives here are pretty simple. We wanna tell you something you don't know, tell you something from the future, maybe, clear up some confusion and maybe tell you something you think is wrong, but it's actually right. So, the topic today is the American Heart Association 2021 Guidelines, Dietary Guidance to Improve Cardiovascular Health. And this is, quote, a scientific statement from the American Heart Association. So I'm very impressed by it. And I think with a little bit of plain speaking, it's a, it's a really good, simple approach to eating better. Now, they have a little <laughs> graphic in here, which I think is really weak. And uh, we'll look at it for a minute, but basically it's like somebody from the meat industry or the fat, fast food industry 
got in touch with them on the way to making this graphic. So this is what they say, and I'm going to kind of read it to you a little bit here, but let's see if I can move this out of the way. No, all right, we'll put it down here to start off with. So evidence-based dietary guidance to promote cardiovascular health. And so this is what they say, and I'm gonna go through each one of these. So we'll look at the next couple of slides here in just a minute. But I think it's kind of, they don't say things as bluntly as I would like to. So I'm gonna say what they say a little more bluntly in this presentation. So here's some of the, the things they say, like uh, adjust energy intake and expenditure. Come on, <laughs> come on. Adjust energy intake and expenditure to achieve and maintain a healthy body weight. What are they saying? Huh? Come on, eat less. <laughs> I mean, adjust energy intake. Come on. All right. Anyways, they say a lot of other things like that. And uh, I'll go through them. Choose minimally processed foods instead of ultra processed foods. Well, what is that saying? Don't eat anything in a plastic bag. <laughs> All right. Choose and prepare foods with little or no salt. Okay. We can summarize that. We can make this shorter. All right. Anyway, so again, the new AHA guidelines, Dr. R's translation. Come with me if you want to live. <clears throat> anyway. So here they are. This is their idea. And it's pretty good, you know, for a whole dietary plan to be that simple. That's pretty good. But they could use a taste of uh, short, plain English. This is the way surgeons talk. So we're going to go through this, these 10 topics, uh, and try and make them a little simpler. And then at the end, we'll make it even simpler than that. So let's go here. And so here we go. Adjust energy intake and expenditure to achieve and maintain a health. Stop eating so darn many calories. Okay, that's, hello, is that simple? Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables and choose a wide variety. So job number one, it's the second thing, eat less and eat fresh fruits and vegetables. Almost always, almost nothing else. It's that simple. What should we do? Eat less, how? Just eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, always. Day and night, morning, noon and night, almost nothing else. It's that simple. Let me say it three more times. Job number one, to get healthy, protect yourself from heart attacks, stroke, cancer, dementia, et cetera. All of that begins with this two simple things, which is eat fresh fruits and vegetables, almost always, almost nothing else. It's that simple. Job number two is eat lots of whole unprocessed grains, and that's easy to do also. Guess what? You should have oatmeal for breakfast. That's not all, but you'll get a lot of... Uh, fiber from the fresh fruits and vegetables, but eat lots of whole unprocessed grains. No, not instant oatmeal. No, not honey or brown sugar. Whole grains, fresh fruits and vegetables. And that's, we're almost done. We could stop there, but we'll make it a little more detailed. Choose healthy sources of protein. What, what are they trying to say? Stop eating meat, dairy, and eggs, okay? Except maybe sometimes. Remember, protein comes from plants. Protein comes from plants. Protein comes from plants. I don't care what McDonald's, what the beef industry, what the people who slaughter pigs and chickens and, and kill them and, and feed them uh, antidepressants, <laughs> you know. No, no, no. Protein comes from plants. Rarely, if ever, eat seafood. Rarely, if ever, have low fat or non fat dairy and don't eat meat. And if you have to eat meat, for gosh sakes, never processed meat, okay? Never processed meat, never processed meat. Okay, use liquid plant oils rather than tropical oils, kind of, okay, Dr. Rutledge's translation. Don't be stupid, don't use fatty oil or greasy foods. Coconut and palm oils are a scam, palm kernel oil, animal fats, butter, lard, partially hydrogenated fats, no, okay? Even that's a little complicated. We'll make it so. no processed foods. Choose minimally processed foods instead of ultra. Just say no processed foods, okay? Almost always no processed foods. If you have one donut in your lifetime, okay. But generally, that's not helping you. <laughs> All right. Minimize the beverages and foods with added sugars. Drink water or green tea and no added sugar. 
Choose and prepare foods with little or no salt. No salt, get rid of the salt. If you drink, don't drink alcohol, and these rules apply in and out of the house. Yesterday, I was told I was going through things fast, so I repeated this several times, and I'll repeat it again. This is this goofy drawing, and this is terrible. It's, I won't go into it now, but they do a bad job of making those things simple. But you can see some bad things here and good things here, although the plant oil probably could have been done without. Okay, here's my extremely simple way to remember the 10 American Heart Association 2021 guidelines. Follow these rules if you want to live. See, that's my Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, not exactly. One, eat less calories. Two, eat fresh fruits and veggies, almost always, almost nothing else. Eat lots of whole unprocessed grains. Lots of whole unprocessed grains. Almost never eat meat, dairy, or eggs. Protein comes from plants, seafood rarely, low-fat non-dairy only rarely, and don't eat meat, and never eat processed meat. Never eat processed meat. Never, never, never eat processed meat. No, none of that red or pink ham. Animals don't have red or pink meat. That's a toxin, a poison that keeps it from spoiling. You don't need that. <laughs> All right, don't be stupid. No fried anything ever. No high temperature cooking. Don't make, eat fatty, oily, greasy foods. Never coconut palm and palm kernel oil. No animal fats, butter and lard. Never partially hydrogenated corn oil. That contains trans fats and no processed foods. What to drink, water or green tea. No sodas, no artificial sweeteners. No salt, it's a killer. Don't drink alcohol, and these rules apply everywhere. You don't get a free one when you go out to McDonald's. Just a reminder, there are a lot of foods that still contain trans fat. So let's get this down here, and this down there. So vegetable shortening, some varieties of microwave popcorn, certain margarine and vegetable oils are hydrogenated, fried foods, fast foods, Bakery products, why can something sit in a grocery store for months and not deteriorate? Hydrogenated corn oils and things like that. Non-dairy coffee creamers and other sources. So okay, so anything that's in the store in a box or a plastic bag is a risk. Okay, so we prefer that you don't do. Why do you think it doesn't spoil? Don't eat things that can't go bad because that means there's a poison in there that's keeping the bacteria from eating it. That means you shouldn't eat it. You're smarter than the bacteria. Okay, so this is all their guidelines. This is my shortened version. And so this is trying to make it as short as possible. Okay, this is just a really simple version. So let's go through it. Uh, let's see, let me move this up here. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here it is. Eat less calories. Okay, not hard to remember. Eat fresh fruits and veggies. Almost always, almost nothing else. Doesn't mean you have to become a vegan or become a Buddhist or anything like that. It just says eat mostly fresh fruits and vegetables. Almost always, almost nothing else. Eat lots of whole unprocessed grains. See, look, three, almost done. Almost never eat meat, dairy, and eggs. Doesn't mean you can't, but in general, if you are overweight, if you have heart disease or lung disease or other problems, don't eat meat, dairy, and eggs. Protein comes from plants, never processed meat. So if you're gonna decide to eat some meat or dairy or eggs, whatever you do, don't get that pink meat in the grocery store. Don't get this, the meat that's down in the cabinet that's already been uh, cooked and processed and things like that. No, 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 no hot dogs, no sausage. I mean, of course you can, I'm saying this is what the American Heart Association, I agree. No fried anything every, and ever, and no high temperature cooking. No processed foods. Food processing is essentially poisoning the water. If you want to drink, drink water or green tea, no sodas and no artificial sweeteners. No salt, no alcohol, and these rules apply everywhere, inside and outside of the house. Now, because I was told I went too fast yesterday, I'm going to do it one more time. 
<laughs> eat less. Hello, we'd all be better if we ate less. Job one, eat less, <laughs> okay? Eat fresh fruits and vegetables, almost always, almost nothing else. Eat lots of whole unprocessed grains, and we could add beans and seeds and nuts, but then it would be too complicated. Almost never eat meat, dairy, and eggs. Protein should come from plants and never, ever from processed meat. No fried anything ever. No high temperature cooking. And uh, oh, I'm getting the ringer that it's time for me to go. So thanks and have a good day. <laughs>